Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have three goals. One, to teach you how to use takeoff the most common ways. Number two, show you that trail I went to a couple weeks ago at the beginning of fall to show you how much the leaves have changed. And three, to tell you about a special deal that italki is offering all of the viewers to this channel if you want to take your english learning to the next level italki could really help you could find a tutor or maybe even a real english teacher on there for very little money in fact i was looking on there and found an english tutor for just one dollar and the idea is when you make your first purchase on italki as long as you use the link in the description box, you can get bonus credits towards your next lesson. I will be using italki very soon for my Italian. I just need to get up the courage. So let's talk really briefly about that trail and about fall. Last night, we had a bit of a storm, a lot of rain and a lot of wind. It's still a little windy right now and I'm worried that a lot of the leaves have fallen off the trees. Man, there are dogs barking everywhere. Can you hear that? All right, even though there are barking dogs, let's proceed with the lesson. Take off. It is a phrasal verb, and I'm sure phrasal verbs are a big pain in your butt. That's what we say when sometimes things give you a lot of trouble. Take off has a ton of different meanings. The first one and probably the most common is something you saw in the thumbnail before you clicked on this video. And I did get a question a couple weeks ago about what is a thumbnail. So it is a little weird. Uh, the thumbnail on your body might be that little thing right there, but it's also what we call the picture you see before you click on a video. And in that thumbnail, I was taking off my mask. And some people have expressed they would like some more shadowing. So why don't we practice a little shadowing with this example. Take off is something you can say anytime you remove an article of clothing. So in that thumbnail, I was taking off my mask. You could take off your shoes. And right now I am wearing very old sneakers because of the rain we got last night. Sneakers are what we call those kind of shoes that you can run in. Sometimes you will hear them called running shoes. If you were in the American South, you might hear them called tennis shoes. And if you were in England, you might hear them called trainers. Well, let's practice some shadowing when we're talking about taking off an article of clothing. Because I got off the bus, I was able to take off my mask. Because I got off the bus, I was able to take off my mask. All right, we're coming up to the trail now. I will leave in the description box the link to the first video I made down here just a couple weeks ago. like a board has gone missing from this bridge. That might be a good sentence to practice shadowing with. Oh no, it looks like a board has gone missing from this bridge. A couple B sounds in there for you. I'm glad I wore my old sneakers. It's a little wet here.
The good news is that most of the leaves are still on the trees. That windstorm last night didn't blow too many off. The next way you can use take off is when it comes to work. You might say next week I am going to take Friday off. When you say take off and you combine it with work, that means you're not going to go in to work that day. We can practice a little more shadowing with that form of takeoff. How about this? Next week is my son's birthday. I am going to take off that day from work. And you would only use take off if basically everyone at your work is working that day. To take off work, you might have to ask your boss if it's okay. If it's a scheduled holiday like Christmas or Thanksgiving in the US, most people are probably not scheduled to work that day. So instead you might say, I get that day off. Another way to use take off is when something becomes really popular. For instance, maybe a new singer released an album and everybody liked it. Maybe you could say her career really took off after that album came out. And that way I used it in the past tense. After her album came out, her career really took off. Hopefully one day this YouTube channel will take off because so many people are learning English with it. So take off can be used when something becomes popular. You can also use take off when you are going to leave someplace. For instance, hey, I'm done here at work. Do you mind if I take off? So that can be a little confusing. That person is already at work and they're basically leaving for the day. They didn't take that day off from work. They came into work, but at the end of the day, they asked their boss if they could take off. Another way to use take off for leaving, hey, this party is lame, I am going to take off. You wanna practice shadowing with that one? Hey, this party is lame, I am going to take off. Maybe you and your family are going to take off for a vacation. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Just leave it down in the comments section where you would go. If I could go anywhere in the world right now, I don't think I should say. I don't want to make anybody mad who's watching right now. But just between you and me, I'd probably go to Italy because I'm trying to learn Italian right now. But don't tell anyone. I really love filming with this GoPro. Thank you to all the channel members who helped me buy this. Unfortunately, sometimes it makes my face a little dark. You can't quite see it. But hey, maybe that makes the video better if you can't see my face. Another way we can use take off is when you subtract something. So let's say you're buying a car and the person you're buying the car from, maybe they wanna get rid of the car quickly. They could say, if you buy this car right now, I will take off $500 from the price. Maybe you're at the store and there's a shirt you really want and they have taken off 50% from the price. You might be more likely to buy that shirt if it's cheaper. Let's practice a little more shadowing. I bought this shirt because they took 50% off the price. I bought the shirt because they took 50% off the price. And notice in that last sentence, I put the number in between the phrasal verb. They took 50% off the price. They took off $500. You can do it both ways. You could make the price the subject of the sentence if you wanted. $500 was taken off the price. 
We'll check out that trail next week to see how much the leaves have changed by then. Okay, the sun is setting on this day. This video is just about over. Before I go, I would like to give a huge shout out to Amina Ali for giving me a super chat during my 2,500 subs live stream. Thank you so much if you have subbed to this channel. If not, maybe you should. If you're looking for more videos in English, take a look at this one right up there. I made it when my wife left me and I had to take her to the airport. And it wasn't quite like that. And below that is a video you might like about English. Thanks for watching. See you next time.